What's going on guys, T-Mart here and welcome to episode 3 of Advanced Warfare Supply Drop Opening Montage. So I did a couple of these videos back right when the game first came out and since then I've been recording every single supply drop that I've opened because I wanted to continue on with this series but uh, just kind of, you know, fell out of the habit of doing it. So let's stay, I think we have somewhere around like 24, 25 supply drops to go through. Hopefully you guys will enjoy and, uh, and hopefully we can have some good luck. So starting off here with the first one, what are we going to get? Boom, there it is. Okay, so just simply one MP443 Grok Compass Edition. Not even sure what that does yet because when I got this thing I was under level 30. So uh, that's not really going to help us out that much. Now, moving on to the second supply drop here. Looks like we get the Atlas Airborne Shin Guards as well as the KVA Civilian Mask. Those are actually pretty sick. Those Shin Guards actually look kind of cool. Uh, you know, the dark green with the orangish reddish outline. I like that. Uh, moving on to our third supply drop here. Nice, we are finally getting a couple of weapons. So we got the TAC-19 Breacher. Looks like this thing does plus one damage and negative one range. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'll have to look into the stats and stuff like that. That might be a decent one. And then the EPM-3 Magnified. The EPM-3 should see another buff sometime soon. I'm hoping for it at least. So I want to hold on to my uh, my variants of this weapon. And this one has plus one range in exchange for negative one handling, which is actually pretty good because handling doesn't actually do anything. So, so that's useful. Now, I'm moving on to our next supply drop here. Looks like, ooh, elite weapon, baby. Psych, it's not a weapon. It's the Nigerian Command Loadout. Not really crazy about that one. Doesn't seem to be doing much for me. So uh, I'll probably end up selling that thing for a nice easy 3k XP. Uh, next up looks like we've got, oh nice, three things. The MP443 Grok Dimension, plus one range in exchange for negative one handling. That's not bad. Uh, MP11 Savior, negative one accuracy in exchange for plus one fire rate. Ooh, that thing would probably be pretty, oh yeah, nice. It actually has a laser sight uh, built in as well. So that's, uh, I guess that's kind of cool. That'd be pretty good up close, which is where the MP11 uh, kind of strives. And, and then finally, a uh, reinforced uh, uh, reinforcement that's enlisted. Wow, a uh, reinforced. That's what I said. That that I mean, that's what I guess he would say. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyway, moving on to our next thing here, we've got the Nigerian support helmet. That doesn't look too bad. I'm really honestly sick of getting Nigerian clothing in my supply drops. It seems to be all I get is just like boots and gloves. Uh, and then we also got the IMR Impact, which is an enlisted weapon, but it's got plus one damage in exchange for negative one range. So I'm not sure if that's a positive outcome or not we'll have to look into that later now moving on to our next supply drop here we've got the sentinel intel helmet as well as a badass atlas vigilante cap that's my favorite thing we have so far uh, out of this episode uh, moving on nice an atlas contractor shirt that's actually not too bad that'll look good under some exosuits maybe the gold exosuits uh, that look pretty good with and then also the hbra3 super light that's kind of a cool name a negative one fire rate in exchange for plus one mobility now if you guys don't know mobility actually doesn't really do anything in this game so so i'm definitely going to sell that thing because it's not really worth anything to me now a uh, Moving on, looks like next up we're going to need a couple of reinforcements here. One enlisted, uh, 10 minutes of supply or of rapid supply time. Nice. That actually never seems to really help me out all that much. I don't know about you guys, but I never seem to earn supply drops when I have rapid supply on. So I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. And then we also got a reinforcement uh, professional edition here uh, of the care package. Next up, looks like we got the Amelie Spacer. If I remember correctly, that one isn't really that great. So we'll have to wait and see what the stats are when I unlock that thing, uh, as well as some KVA Mercenary Gloves. Uh, next up, we get the EM1 M Coil. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. Negative one damage in exchange for plus one accuracy. EM1, I don't know if I would, you know, use that. I think I'd rather have the damage over accuracy with this thing because it's already pretty easy to control with burst fires, so I'm not worried about that. But the Atlas Orbital Exo is pretty epic. That's an elite Exo right there. And we might, actually, that would look good with the uh, the boots we got earlier. The the kind of like orangish, reddish, you know, boots that uh, were traced with the, the red color, whatever I'm talking about. I'm getting all accessorized in here, so you guys ignore me. All right, next up, we got the MP11 Toxic Britney Spears Edition. Uh, negative one damage, negative one accuracy, plus one fire rate, plus one handling. That thing absolutely is toxic. There's no way I'd be using that thing, although it does look pretty badass, as well as got some Atlas airborne pants. So uh, I guess those are kind of cool. Uh, next up, nice. We got three things here. So we got a reinforced enlistment of 10 minutes of rapid supply. So I guess we got 20 minutes total now. We also got Nigerian armored pants. Uh, those would look good with our orange, you know, thing that we're working on here. Uh, and then finally, we got the MK14 ultralight professional weapon, negative two range, and exchange for plus two handling and eh, I'll take a pass I'm gonna be selling that thing all right 
Next up, nice, two pieces of badass clothing. Some Nigerian armored boots, that's what I'm talking about. I have at least eight of these things. And then finally, a marine expeditionary helmet, which isn't too bad, but I've actually already unlocked that thing uh, as well. Uh, next up, our 15th supply drop of the episode. Looks like we're getting marine gloves, which uh, I'm not crazy about. The PDW Ion, plus one fire rate in exchange for negative one range. Eh, I'll go ahead and pass. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. You don't really need too much range with your, uh, your sidearm, so maybe that won't be too bad. Uh, I might have to check that thing out as well as a professional uh, reinforcement care package. Uh, next up, our 16th one, we got a professional reinforcement of double XP. Nice. 25 minutes of double XP time. Wish I could give that away to you guys because I'm not ranking up anymore. I'm staying at prestige too. Uh, MDL backdraft, you guys know with the uh, the specialty weapons and stuff like that, the um, the variants don't change their attributes. It's just kind of like the way they look. So that one looks pretty cool. And then finally, we get the PDW Deadeye, which is plus one accuracy in exchange for negative one handling. And it automatically has a red dot sight on it without uh, requiring an attachment. So that's actually a, a pretty good one there. I, I might have to equip that on some classes. Now, uh, next up, moving on, looks like we got the Mailstorm loadout. It's an elite loadout. Not really crazy about this one. I guess it's not too bad, but uh, I'm not sure why that's elite. It's not really that good looking. Uh, as well as we got the AMR9 Featherweight. So uh, negative one accuracy in exchange for plus one handling. I'll go ahead and pass on that. Next up, looks like we only get one thing out of this supply drop, TAC-19 Light Trigger, plus one fire rate in exchange for negative one mobility. That's actually pretty good. So you're going to be able to fire that thing faster, put more shots down range in exchange for mobility, which actually doesn't do anything. So, so that's one that I will definitely keep in mind whenever I want to run a TAC-19 class. Now, uh, next up, looks like we got some double XP. We got a Sentinel Operator Exo, which is actually not too bad. That's a pretty cool elite Exo. And we got the AMR-9 Hip Shot, which is negative one damage, negative one accuracy, plus one fire rate and plus one mobility not one that i'm super crazy about we haven't had much luck with the uh the the weapon loot in this episode so far so that's kind of uh that's kind of a, a letdown here but uh next up looks like ooh, atlas airborne shin guards again okay so we got two of those bad boys we'll be able to claim one of those uh, also the hbri3 competition negative one damage in exchange for plus one range if i remember correctly i think that is a good trade-off there so if you get the hbri3 competition it's better than the base version of the hbr because the damage reduction isn't as important as the range improvement is. So uh, that one's pretty good. Now, uh, next up, our 21st supply drop here. Nice. Okay, we got three things. So Nigerian armored shirt. Eh, not crazy about those. Uh, the Sentinel Airborne Shin Guards are actually pretty sick. Like, I, I will wear those. Those are kind of cool. As well as the Amor 9 Banger. This one's kind of funny. So this unique little weapon here actually has the uh, the underbarrel grenade launcher automatically attached to it. So yes, in Advanced Warfare on the Amor 9, you can put an underbarrel grenade launcher uh, on this thing. And this one actually has it automatically. So you don't have to use a crude class point to be able to equip it. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. Uh, not my favorite SMG in the world. And I don't think the underbarrel grenade launch is that good, but it's definitely a new thing we might have to try out. I've actually heard that this particular weapon is very, very good in hardcore due to the lower health, so so we may have to check that thing out, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty unique. Now, uh, moving on, our 22nd one here looks like we're getting a weapon. Nice. Okay, the Pytech Magnify. We already have the loophole, so I can't get much better than that, but it looks like the Magnified says a plus one range in exchange for negative one handling, so that's actually pretty good. I would take that, you know, trade any day, so that thing's not too bad. We also got an Elite Re Reinforcement care package and some marine pants. Uh, next up, second to last here, looks like all we're getting in this one is an Atlas Vigilante loadout. So, uh, again, it's been, honestly, it's been really, really disappointing so far. We have not had anything super standout yet, so uh, I'm feeling it. I think that this upcoming package right here is going to be the one that just blows us away. I'm talking Inferno, I'm talking Obsidian Steed, I'm talking something insane. You guys ready for this? You ready? What? What is this? Error occurred while trying to open your supply drop. Please try again. Are you kidding me? It's not here. It's not here anymore. What the f***?